we know that you were on the campaign trail with Bernie Sanders and man I, I really wish that he was still in the running um, I but, really wish I would have been allowed to talk about him when I was up here doing Ricky Smiley show but I was not what? We know this is radio. We're not going to make no plays and no contentions. This can get cut. This cannot make it. Okay. The reason you guys didn't hear me say Bernie Sanders is because uh, one of the more powerful people at this station, God bless him, I love him, he's a good brother, but he works for a corporation. That corporation didn't see fit for me to talk about Bernie Sanders. He sat in this whole interview and made sure that I'd not speak about Bernie Sanders. Now that Bernie Sanders is what people say in effect out of the race, now it's cool to talk about Bernie Sanders. I want to manage, manage black people about that too. Stop picking what these people tell you the safest choice. I was in a meeting last night at the request of um, DeKalb County's new CEO, who will be his new CEO, Michael Thurman. Um, I was um, to decide the Democratic platform. If you read the AJC today, they talked about what I brought up. What I brought up was black men. What I brought up was police. You know, what I brought up was BS drug laws. What I brought up is what affects our people at base level. But, you know, all, a lot of people supported Hillary in that. But I'm going to just tell you right now, you don't have to keep taking second best. You don't got to keep being a political party side woman. Where they come and creep in your churches and do the dance. You know how men do with their side women. Yeah. Things they never do with their wife. That hot sauce ain't coming out when, they, that, when, they, when, when, they, when, they, when they're in Buckhead doing those lunches. The hot sauce come out when it's down on Camden Road trying to make you feel cute. Now ain't me talking against nobody. Just saying your vote deserves something. Right. Don't you give anybody anything. You know, you might hear an old country lady tell her daughter or her granddaughter. Don't you come back here after you date no man just with no wet pants and no dry pockets. Miss Shaw nigga shaking her head. She's heard that before. Auntie <laughs> said that to her. Yeah. So I'm here to tell y'all, don't keep voting for these chumps. And all you get out of it is a picture opportunity. Or a dab. Or, or the ability to say, hey, man, Donald Trump like black folks too. I'm saying whoever you vote for, demand something. And if you don't get it, stay home. Stay home because your life ain't going to get no worse than it already is. Right. And it can't get nothing but better once you decide to.